Today in WWE 2K23, I am making Roman Reigns a zero overall. Roman Reigns will have three matches to upgrade from a zero overall all the way up to max 100 overall. Match number one will be a 10-man Royal Rumble. Match number two will be an Elimination Chamber. And match number three will be a one-on-three -on -three Elimination Handicap match against the Bloodline. Roman will earn 100 upgrade points for every elimination and 250 points for every match he wins. After those three matches are completed, he will go one-on-one -on -one with the final boss, The Rock on Legend Difficulty. We will start this video by lowering every single stat for Roman Reigns to the lowest it can possibly go in WWE 2K23, a 30 overall. And that obviously makes Roman Reigns a 30 overall. And Roman has no titles around his waist on his shoulder. We are a 30 overall entering the Rumble at number one. It looks like we're starting this match up against the Big Red Machine. Kane enters at number two. Two, and this is on normal difficulty, and I can't get a move on Kane. Finally, a big boot to the face, and I just can't get one move on him. Oh, we throw him over the top, though, or we lower the top rope, and Kane's eliminated after he countered like 10 of my moves in a row. What a start for Roman. Lowered the top rope and got Kane out of here. And at number three, it's the Leviathan. If you don't know who this is, this is Batista, I believe, his OVW version. Didn't even realize this was in the game. I completely forgot about this Batista version. He's got us in the corner. Can we counter? Yes, we can. Can we get another quick elimination? Big boot to the face of the Leviathan. Let's see. We can't get a grapple. Everybody just countering his grapples. Probably because it's a 30 overall. And another counter by Roman. Let's just try it. Can we get him up and over? Roman Reigns! A 30 overall Reigns. Eliminated two in a row. And who's coming in at number four? The phenomenal AJ Styles. And just to show you all, this is a 30 overall Roman. All right, AJ, let's do this. AJ Styles could be the World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe when you're watching this video at Night of Champions, one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins, could wind up being the World Heavyweight Champ. So it could be the Universal and WWE Champ in the real WWE versus the new World Heavyweight Champ. We are about to find out who wins. All right, so we weren't able to eliminate AJ just yet. And in two seconds, we have another entry coming into this match. Or maybe we can eliminate AJ. No, we can't. And here comes Shinsuke Nakamura in a counter by AJ Styles. Oh, and there goes AJ! Shinsuke Nakamura has eliminated the phenomenal one! He stole my elimination, though. I'm not cool about that. I was just gonna relax for a little bit, let the both of them go at it, and then jump in as one was about to get eliminated. But Shinsuke eliminated AJ so quick, I did not have a chance to do that. And what is this? Entrant number six, I believe, gonna be entering the match right now. And it's Goldberg. Okay. So this match is going to start to heat up soon. Goldberg enters with one and a half finishers. How does he have that going for him? Counter that though, Roman. We cannot get finishered by Goldberg. Don't steal my lip. Shinsuke. You're stealing my upgrade points, Shinsuke. You got to go. You got to go, Shinsuke. It's your time. Roman, let's get him out of here. I saw that one coming too. I saw it the way it hit Goldberg off of me. I knew he was going to eliminate him. And there goes Shinsuke. Three eliminations for Roman. And at number seven, it's Kurt Angle. This ring has not filled up more than three competitors at once the entire match. And in three seconds, we're about to have another entry and join this match. German suplex from Kurt Angle. And it's 06 John Cena. Oh, I missed the counter. No, is he throwing us out? Oh, I thought I was getting thrown out for a second. It looks like towards the end of this Rumble, we're actually going to have a crowded Rumble match. The first half, it was one by one pretty much, but at the number nine spot, we have Hulk Hogan. We now have four competitors in the match at the same time. And we're about to have entry at number 10 join this matchup. Let's see if we can get rid of Kurt quickly. Hulk Hogan could go out as well. Missed that completely. At number 10, it's L.A. Knight. Can we eliminate Kurt? Let's try that again. Oh, Hulk from behind. Leave me alone, Hulk. I'm trying to eliminate Kurt. Come on, Roman. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Kurt over the top. Roman, come on, Roman. Come on. Why? Why does that keep happening? Let's try it again. Come on. This time. Over the top rope. Why is that happening? There we go. We eliminate Kurt Angle. Closing on our first finisher, too. That could be used towards the end of this match. No, we don't want to go out. Come on, Roman. Watch out. He's going for it. Counter! And there goes Cena! Huge counter by Roman Reigns. Let me get drilled by Hogan. I guess I'll try to eliminate LA Knight while I can. Over the top rope he goes, and I get the elimination. Hogan tried to steal it. No, I'm getting eliminated. He's using his finisher. No! We got eliminated and lose the rumble by Hogan. I knew it. 
With my first 200 of 600 points, I put my arm leg power up to 80 and same for grapple and running offense. And I used 200 more points to upgrade my strike and grapple reversal at 80 and my body and arm durability. Another 100 points went towards my pin escape, strength, and stamina. And because we're gonna need some finishers and special moves in this chamber match, I put my special and finisher up to 80 using all 600 points. And after just one match, Roman's up to a 70 overall. And this chamber is filled with opponents that Roman has beat throughout his 1,000 day reign as champion. It is chamber time and here comes the tribal chief. And starting the chamber with us will be in my universe, the world heavyweight champion, but not actually in the real WWE, but it's the rated R superstar, Edge. 70 overall Roman, feel way more comfortable about that than I did with 30 overall Roman, but it's a lot more difficult to get pinfalls with a lower overall superstar than it is to eliminate them from the rumble. So let's see what happens here. Really wanted to win that rumble match. That would have gave us 350 more upgrade points than we actually got, but we got to work with what we have and we have a 70 overall Roman. Should be able to get our special and finishers a little bit more. Some Superman punches and some spears to eliminate some superstars. Knees to the groin area of the radar superstar. And in eight seconds, we're going to get our next entrant into this match. I think even if we eliminate every single superstar and win the match, I don't know if we have enough to skip to the final boss after this. We're probably going to have to go with that handicap match against the bloodline. Who's going to be entering here? It's going to be Drew McIntyre. Two seconds, we're getting another entry into this match. There's no way Edge is getting eliminated. I'm taking a little breather here. If Edge gets eliminated, steals my elimination. Edge, you better kick out. What was with that slow count from the ref right there? But here comes Cena. And here comes our next entry as Cena is going to get speared. There's no way Cena is getting eliminated, though. I would highly doubt it off of one spear. What? John Cena just got eliminated on one spear. He just entered the match and Brock Lesnar is now in. That drew my attention completely off of that. That is crazy. I did not even interfere because I thought there was a 0% chance that Cena was going to get eliminated there. I should have stole that elimination. That's on me. I'm going to try to work on Edge now. Let's see if I can get Edge in the corner for a Superman punch. And we know Cody's coming in next. Come on. Come on, Roman. Oh, can I not do the Superman punch? Come on. You can't do it like that, I guess? Okay, I got to figure out how I can do the Superman punch right now. And here comes Cody Rhodes. Am I going to get a one-on-one -on -one chance with Edge right here? I can hit him with the Superman punch. Spear combo. Here we go. The Radar Superstar is going out of here. If Cena goes out on one spear, there's no way that Edge is not going out. One, two. He had resiliency. Come on, right into the pin right here. Right into the pin. We got to eliminate the Radar Superstar. Power bomb from Roman. Count the three. One, two. How did he kick out? Drew McIntyre might get eliminated. Brock Lesnar just eliminated Drew. I have yet to get an elimination in this chamber match. We definitely have to do the handicap match. Now, can we eliminate the radar superstar? Nobody wants to get eliminated. And now we got a Cody Cutter on Edge. Edge is going to get eliminated. No way. We're going to lose that elimination too. Oh my, are you kidding me? I have yet to eliminate anybody in this match. And I'm going to get submission because I didn't upgrade my submission at all, aren't I? I'm actually able to get out of that. I cannot believe we haven't got one elimination yet. This is crazy. Brock's got Cody up top. Come here, Brock. Come here, Brock. I gotta eliminate you first. Cody still has resiliency. There's the Superman punch. Into the finisher. Pin him. Please. That's gotta be three. If he kicks out. One, two. Thank you. We finally get elimination in the chamber. Now we gotta work with Cody. We just busted him wide open. Come on, Roman. How is he getting up so quickly? I can't use a Superman punch unless he's on the ground. And I'm in a submission. No. We're in a submission maneuver. No, 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 no. We lost. We lost. He's going to make us tap. I don't have any submission defense. I should have upgraded it a little bit. We're going to tap out. We're going to tap. Come on, Roman. No, we're fighting back. Come on, Reigns. Come on, Reigns. The button spamming. The button spamming. And we get out of the submission just barely. Put him through the pod. Throw him into the steel. Just do something, Roman. Eliminate this man from the match. How do we drive him through the pod? Here we go. Reigns. Drive him through the pod. Are you kidding? I didn't even think he could counter that. Now, how did he hit crossroads? I was trying to grapple him. Well, this one's probably over, isn't it? No! What a huge kick out. I can't believe I got that. Run away. Run away. He's got another one. We need to win this match right now. Oh, no. He's up. We need to win this right now. Roman, we don't have any time. Oh, no. We're in such a bad spot. We countered crossroads. Hit him with the spear. Get him in the corner. He countered me. Watch out! Disaster kick! Get him in the corner! Come on, Roman. Do it one time. One finisher! One finisher! Here we go! Get him! Spear from Reigns! He will not win! Cody, it doesn't matter if it's WrestleMania or the Chamber! 
We are taking him out with Roman. And there's a three count, we win the chamber. So with 450 points, I use 200 on recovery, movement speed, I put agility up to an 80, and stamina and strength up to an 80. I wanna make sure I can't tap out in this next match, so I have my power submission defense and technical submission defense up to an 80 with 150 points remaining. And the final 150 go towards aerial offense, aerial range, and power submission offense. So that makes Roman Reigns a 90, and we're able to give him his paybacks. Roman Reigns now has to go up against the bloodline. Let's see if he can beat his own bloodline. Now here comes Solo. Sokoa. I don't know why him and the Usos don't just enter together. Even the Usos come in one by one. It doesn't make any sense. And of course, when I say that, I do get the Usos joint entrance. I feel like anytime I've used the Usos in the same match, they don't enter together for some reason. All right, we're 90 overall this time around against the Bloodline, so I think we can make quick work of this. Let's see what we can do. We're going to start off against Solo, so the Enforcer of the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, got to deal with first. Power bomb to Solo. Now we got Solo up. We got Solo down, and my objective here is not let them tag in at all. I'm going to try to execute one by one, just eliminate one by one as they enter the ring. I do not want any tags, because then I got to put in more work, and they're going to be able to rest up while Romans have to keep going, fighting everybody. Now, I got to counter Solo. Luckily, we do. We steal the finisher right back. I don't think so. And now we set up in the corner. Or Roman, actually, let's get him in the corner. He got up way too quick. Superman punch! Into the spear combo. Can we eliminate Solo Sokoa? Now I gotta knock the Usos off the ring though. See you later. Can we send both Usos out? There we go. Solo is stunned. This should be good. He has no resiliency. Two, three. Wait, it was supposed to be an elimination match. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so what I did was we're just gonna do a one on two handicap match now since we technically did eliminate Solo against the Usos. So we got a brand new match. I made sure to set it to elimination this time so we'd have no more issues. So we earned 100 upgrade points from eliminating Solo. Now we try to earn the other 350 from eliminating both Uso brothers and then also by getting the win. Or it's actually 450 upgrade points we can get. My apologies. But he actually tags back in Jimmy, which I am completely okay with because Jimmy is way more damage. I can save the finisher for him. I have a signature ready, a Superman punch for Jimmy. Good counter. Let's get him down. Big boot to the face of Jimmy Uso. And now it's Superman punch time. This is exactly what we wanted. Then we have the finish. We'll have two finishers for Jay. Superman punch connects. And Jay, see you later. Let's cover Jimmy. This should be enough to put him away. Let's count this three. One, two, three. One more Uso to go. We have our finishers. Here we go. One finisher to Jay. This is actually the second we've done to him. But we have the first of the two consecutive. I'm going to hit him with two in a row. We are not even going to waste any time. In case he kicks out of one, he's not kicking out of another. Another Superman punch into another spear. think this one's pretty much over. Are we going to face the Rock? Is it time for the final boss? As a 100 overall, two... Three, good night, Bloodline. We have 550 points to upgrade Roman Reigns, and after taking a look at all of his stats, we easily have enough to max him out. And those upgrades make Roman a 100 overall. And now it's time for the Tribal Chief to take back his WWE title and the head of the Bloodline. But he's got to go through the People's Champ, the WWE Champ, and the head of the Bloodline right now, The Rock. Roman Reigns must beat his own final boss. Normally, he's the final boss, but now we face The Rock on Legend Difficulty with a maxed out Roman Reigns, and here come the legend counters. Rock with the right hand. Rock has us. Close line for the Rock, turning Roman inside out, and a couple hits have already done a ton of damage to Roman Reigns, and we're in a submission maneuver, but it's way too early to think Roman's gonna tap out. We power out of that. A few moves from the Rock has already drained our bar in the bottom left of your screen, pretty much, but now we got the Rock up into a huge power bomb, and that barely did anything, and we're the 100 overall. How is that possible? But then we knock him back outside the ring. And we're looking for a flying clothesline. Come on, Roman. Let's fly, Roman Reigns. And can we land the signature? It's Superman punch time. Reconnect with this. We'll have another finisher ready to go. Oh, of course he countered it. But then we countered him right back. And then he countered us right back. Watch out for the rock bottom. I couldn't even counter it. It didn't pop up. What am I supposed to do there? Oh, and we kick out at one without using resiliency. Another huge kick out. We have another finisher. Get him into the corner, Roman. Superman punch connects! And we're good to go. Once you hit that, the spear is coming. Spear from Reigns! He has resiliency, though. I expect him to use it, but you never know. One, 
two! And he kicks out at two with the resiliency. Rock's got control. We gotta be careful. He could be going for the rock bottom. He wasn't, but we do counter. We have a signature available. If we can just plant him on the canvas, we can use it. Watch out for the rock bottom. He's not using it. I missed the counter. This is so tough to counter something right now. Stamina. Can we hit the Superman punch into the spear? I need stamina. Come on. Oh, Roman. We need stamina. We had just enough. Here we go. Superman punch. Spear to the people's champ. The final boss is the Rock Don. One, two, three. Reigns is again the W. WWE Champion Roman Reigns once again takes his seat at the head of the table once again the leader the tribal chief of the bloodline and the WWE Champion and if you all enjoyed that video I am confident that you will like either of these two videos down below and make sure to subscribe for more content